Hi everybody, welcome to The Pagan Perspective. My name is Angel and I'm your Friday host. And today we're gonna to be talking about mixing and matching pantheons. Okay, so the person that uh, has emailed us a question in regards to mixing pantheons would like to remain anonymous. I'm going to kind of paraphrase this, but I'll put the full question down below. Um, they're an eclectic pagan and find themselves drawn to two different directions at once. Uh, they're drawn to the Celtic uh, path or culture, places and language, and Egyptian culture in much the general same fashion. Um, they feel like there's an Egyptian deity calling them, trying to contact them. Um, they're not sure how to blend the Celtic or Egyptian path and they really don't want to make anybody angry. Gods, speaking about gods. So with that being said, um, I think the first thing to determine, and it sounds from like from this question that they believe one way. I may be wrong. Um, the first thing you need to, to kind of think about is what is it that you believe about the gods? You believe that they are their own separate deities or if they are just attributes or characteristics of source. Um, if you believe they're just characters or characteristics or attributes of source, then this actually wouldn't even be a question, I don't think. I think that you you would be able to mix and match as, at will, as, as, that sh however you would like. That being said, <laughs> um, um, you do have to be cautious of mixing personalities, um, traits even, and I'll get to that. If you believe that these are separate deities, then that kind of goes in the same path as is the separate personality traits. There are people out there that think that you should not mix tradition or uh, pantheons, um, like Celtic and Egyptian, or you know, Mayan and um, Nordic, or or what have you. Um, that you should stick with like pantheons. If you're going to mix a pantheon, they should be like pantheons, like uh, Celtic, Nordic, and Germ Germanic. Um, those are like pantheons. Uh, if you're part of a specific tradition that honors specific gods and goddesses from a very specific pantheon, then that sort of dictates the fact that you probably shouldn't mix, but that's only because you're kind of on a path that's dedicated to that pantheon. My personal opinion is if you're an eclectic pagan, you can mix and match any pantheon you want to. <clears throat> With that, you do have to be careful of what gods and goddesses or characteristics you mix together you have to make sure they get along. There has to be some, um, some uh, peace there. You can't have two gods or two goddesses or a god and a goddess that do not like each other and are constantly in a mythological epic battle. Uh, I don't think that would be really good for your practice. <sighs> Honestly, I have many altars around my house dedicated to deities, uh, spirits. That's many altars that I work with within my home, which is like my alt my main altar is my home. Now, I have not personally mixed pantheons. I think part of that might be an OCD thing. <laughs> I think I like things to be similar. Um, I don't necessarily think it's because I think it shouldn't happen. And ultimately, 
you have to do what feels right to you. If mixing a pantheon, a Celtic god and a and a an Egyptian god or goddess, whichever it is you choose together, if that feels right to you, then it feels right. Then the gods are speaking to you through a feeling of peace in what you're doing. Another thing is if you're not sure then I would just ask, I uh, pray or chant or meditate or dream or do some kind of tarot reading or what have you, but put the question out in the universe and ask, can I, can you, can you two gods or goddesses or god and goddess, can, will you join my space in harmony with each other and my work? Um, you'll get an answer. It may be how you feel. It may be in a, in a, um, a sensing of something, but you'll, you'll get an answer. I guess ultimately, I know a lot of people who start on this path. I know I did. I wanted to know the exactly, the exact thing I needed to do, the right way of doing things. Where do I put this? What do I need? You know, what, how does everything have to work? The frustrating thing is the answer I got was, there's no right way, it's how, how it feels to you. And I remember thinking, I don't know how it feels to me. I've never done this before. So telling you that go on your feeling might not seem like the best advice, but it really is. I don't think if if you go into ritual with two deities with purest purest heart and intention, regardless if they don't get along and you, you didn't realize or they don't want to work together for whatever reason and mythologically that never was the case because they were in different pantheons then I don't think they're going to be mad at you I don't think you'll be reprimanded or punished I think whatever you're trying to do just may not work you know if you're doing a money spell it just may not work I don't think that you're going to lose money I don't think that something's going to cost you know money or something bad's going to happen. I just think that it won't work. So when it comes to pantheons, I think that you can mix and match as you feel at peace at doing. Uh, I, I would only suggest researching the gods and goddesses that you're wanting to work with to make sure that mythologically, like I said, or historically, however you want to look at it, they do get along that way you don't have a lot of discord in your practice <laughs> and your you know your spells and such but honestly I think like I said if you go in it with pureness of heart and pureness of intention nothing bad's gonna happen to you if they don't get along I just think that your spell won't work or your what you're putting out won't work it'll sort of make it you know, uh, a moot action, if you will. Anyways, that's just what I think. I, I know there's a lot of people out there who are very purist when it comes to pantheons and, and, and um, you know, how you should set up your altar and how you should do ritual. But the beautiful thing about this path is it's organic and it's eclectic and in its very essence. And we can do whatever we want. You know, there's no dictation unless we put it there so I say just go out and do what feels worth what feels right and if you're not really sure if you're feeling that it's right then put out in the universe a question ask all right so like I said I'll put the full question down below and if anybody has any comments or questions please feel free to put them down below and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week and uh, bless it be. Bye.